I don't even want to take too much of your time. Let's jump straight into the video. I'll be right back after this entry clip. <laughs> Alright, so welcome everybody. This is Not So Burundian here. Welcome to my video yet again. This is another Friday. No, actually, no. I'm filming on a Tuesday, but this video is going to come out on a Friday, which is today. Tuesday, but it's Friday for you who's watching the video. Yeah, so uh, you see the topic. I don't even want to waste any time. Today's video is just basically going to be a rant. It's going to be a rant something that i've had in my chest for quite some time now and i just felt like i it was about time that i just let it out there you know put it out there and uh, let everybody know what i feel towards this particular topic so let's just jump, jump uh, straight into it but before we do that i just want to thank all of my subscribers everybody that is currently subscribed to the channel i thank you guys for uh, being faithful and the channel keeps growing and so for that i am grateful to all 3700 and 3570 something subscribers i am grateful for you guys i'm grateful for you guys having subscribed to the channel and yeah let's just jump straight into the topic and so as i make this video i am pretty much i'm just gonna put it out there i am bias in favor of english against french i hate french to the bottom of, of my heart really i do but even though i'm biased i believe i will be able to present a couple of points that are somewhat you know legit legit points if you think about them so here are five reasons why i think french is holding us back french has made us unable to fully integrate into the um, east african society what do i mean by that in my opinion burundian citizens with burundi itself being one of seven east african states we present a really very small population we're about i want to embarrass myself here i think we're 12 or somewhere close to 20 12 or 13 million i think if i made a mistake i'm just gonna put the correction to that on the screen we are two of seven east african states that use french as an official language burundi does use english too but that's uh, that's on paper really it's for formalities but we don't really use english as much so we are unable to integrate into the east african society in a sense that the people within the east african society including burundians are you know i feel like we are unable to fully socialize in a way that would enable us to get the most out of the integration in terms of uh, education, in terms of uh, literature, in terms of, you know, the day-to-day -day exchange of knowledge because of uh, French. We do not speak English, which happens to be spoken by all the other East African states except us and Congo. But today, let me just focus on Burundi for today. So yeah, we the inability to fully integrate into the East African society and exploit it to the best of our um ability so that's reason number one why i think french is holding us back as a country reason number two would be we are unable to fully exploit the tourism sector so there's probably two places where you will ever come across french when you are rather english when you're in burundi and that would be the airport and the immigration and even then, you probably come across English when you are filling in the forms. You know, there's a little, within the fine print, the little print on a paper is English somewhere, together with French and Kirundi. Kind of compressed and hard to read, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And how are we expected to have an influx of the world population into Burundi if we do not fully speak or rather utilize English on a day-to-day -day basis? And so that to me is one of the things that's holding us back. We are unable to exploit the tourism industry. Uh, I dare say that, I don't know, about 80% of the world's tourists happen to speak English one way or, or the other. It might not be their first language, but it's at least their second or third. And so if we cannot tap into that vast majority of the English tourists then we are pretty much missing out an example of that would be Rwanda and how good its tourism sector is doing and i would argue that it's because you know at some point they decided to throw french over to the side and go on with and, uh, and partner up with english that's reason number two for me reason number three would be we are as far as academics is concerned we are unable to fully exploit the scholarships 
the global scholarships that are out there that are being given to students on a on an annual basis so basically what i mean by that is um okay let's just take a look at um the countries that speak english versus the countries that speak french so english speaking nations would be like what there's Canada, a huge portion of Canada. You've got the United States, you have Australia, you've got England, you've got South Africa, you've got, um, you've got China. There's a whole lot of uh, campuses in China that use English officially. And then you've got India, you've also got Japan, I think. You, you, you could find uh, English uh, universities in Japan. And uh, okay, any other country that I mentioned would, would probably be a stretch for me. That's pretty much it. I think I've mentioned about six or seven countries. Now, let's take a contrast uh, of that, which is French. French would be, I don't know what, I can't really think of them off the top of my head, except two countries, which is Belgium and France, and then uh, a portion of Canada. And last time I spoke to somebody, uh, they had a scholarship from Burundi to uh, Algeria, Algérie. So yeah, a country in Africa. So that's pretty much it. That's like what I've mentioned about four, four countries that I could think of. And these countries are not even major economies in the world. And so that being said, our youth misses out on great uh, academic scholarship and countries that happen to rule the tech industry, countries that happen to rule the pharmaceutical industry, medicine, companies that, you know, tech in as far as engineering and IT, and all of that so and they cannot go there because they don't speak French, uh, English you did primary secondary school and high school in French you cannot be expected to all of a sudden switch to English in university and be expected to understand or master your craft in university if you've been doing it in French your whole life so that's another reason why I think French is holding us back we are missing out on great scholarships in countries that happen to be leading in certain sectors and then the other reason to me would be we are unable to access the vast amounts of literature that is out there and educational material online that in my opinion for me happens to be in English you know if you go over to websites a bunch of websites like Jeez, I've been in, I've been out of school for about a year and I forget what these websites are. I don't know. Uh, websites like um, there's a bunch of websites where I used to take certain courses and online websites. Uh, anyway, I forget them, but you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, there is uh, uh, websites that offer educational tools. Uh, certificates online and degrees online and then you've got um, even this platform here where we make videos every day like YouTube I would argue that a huge percent uh, of YouTube happens to be in English it happens to be videos that are made in English by the English community for the English uh, community so if you look at the United States uh, which happens to be the uh, home hub of YouTube so to speak uh, uh, the US is about what 400 million people strong and out of those 400, what, let's say um, 200 of them happen to be YouTube content creators. And then you've got the UK and then you've got Australia, then you've got South Africa and then you have uh, Canada. So there is a huge amount of content online that our people, Burundians, are unable to access because they do not speak English. And as a result, they are unable to come across tools that could help them elevate in a particular craft or discover a particular craft or use information that is out there to benefit them in one way or the other uh, aside from content uh, we also have literature in terms of uh, books you know books that you can pur purchase be it hard copy or online books but this is a hard one for me i can't really uh, tell french versus english who has more literature out there but i dare say that you know I think English has more literature than French does. Great literature and literature that is updated on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's, 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 it's gotta be, it's gotta be English, man, it's English. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, I am biased in favor of English and I think it's about time we just, I don't know, we, it's about time we threw French to the side and considered adopting English. Rhonda did it, they're doing good. English might not be the only reason why they are advancing fast as far as the economy is concerned. It could be one amongst many other reasons, but you cannot deny that ever since they chucked French to the side and adopted English, they have been having positive results. I mean, 
if this is a debate i guess you know i would use that as an example it's up to you to show that english did not play a, a great role so uh, anyway uh so those are basically what those are four reasons let me think of reason number five um reason number five would be it's not that big of a point but if you consider entertainment hollywood hollywood rules the world man they 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 rule the world nobody does it better than hollywood and so i don't know i guess being french yeah you miss out on great entertainment of the world uh that 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 surround there in the world you know i mean uh the movies might be translated into french you might have subtitles you might have uh you might have french dubbed movies but heck it's not the same thing man you miss out on humor you miss out on jokes you miss out on just relating to the characters that are in the movie you know so yeah that's that's pretty much it for me those are my five reasons why i think french is holding us back and you know i pray that one day we just throw it to the side like we like ronda did french and adopt english as soon as possible those are my personal reasons i don't know what you guys think uh, maybe it's a stretch everything i said maybe i don't know just tell me what you think if you agree just uh drop a comment in the comment section below if you don't hey give your reasons why but yeah that's pretty much all i had to say and uh thank you guys for watching every friday i'm gonna be dropping one of these videos right here i'm gonna call it uh controversial fridays where i try to uh touch on certain controversial topics about burundi I'm going to try and keep it safe because, you know, I don't want to I don't want to be the the, 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 the the enemy of the state for any reason whatsoever. But, you know, I'll try to keep my um, points as safe as possible and use language that is safe, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, until next time, this is not so burned in here. I will see you on the next video. Uh, I just want to quickly mention that uh, everything you see behind me right now, uh, this bike over here and that bike over there, well, not necessarily this bike. This is my bike. I happen to be selling these bikes and a couple of other bikes that I have in stock. And all these accessories that you're seeing on the bike right now, like this uh, bike light right here, this headlight. I've got these uh, handlebar bags. I've got a bunch of... Uh, water bottles such as this you can squeeze these water bottles and uh you know uh, you pull that with your teeth squeeze and have water squirt out, out out of that area close it up again and then you could uh it produces a fine spray just like that yeah just like that produces a fine spray for when you want to reduce that salt on your face coming from sweat and then I've got a bunch of helmets that I am selling too so you know hit me up I got a bunch of these in stock and also you've got a tail light right there i'm selling a bunch of those too i've got mud guards and all of that or if you don't want to buy a bike and you want to rent one just you know hit me up those of you that come to burundi and live in places like kayanza gitega and you want something to help you move around from point a to point b let me know these are geared bikes they're pretty light about uh okay not the lightest bikes out there but they're about 16 and 15 kilos so yeah, it's not your regular mountain bike. A mountain bike would be about 19 kilos. Uh, these are lighter than mountain bikes and the wheels are slightly of a small cross section. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I'll see you guys next time. This is Not So Burned In Here. I am out. Peace.